Name this <laughs> tune. That's Young at Heart, that is, by the Bluebells. Of course it is. As part of his series on the story behind great solos, Des Coleman's been to meet the man behind that oh-so-catchy, catchy hook. Back in the mid-80s, the pop scene was all about electronic music, synthesizers, drum machines and severe haircuts. In 1984, a song was released that just stood out from the crowd and would go on to become a top ten hit. Young at Heart was written by Bluebell singer Robert Hodgins and his girlfriend Siobhan Fahey. But it wasn't the first time the song had been recorded. It was originally sung by Banana Rama back in 1983, and it sounded like this. When the Bluebells came to record their version, they wanted it to sound different. Sometimes a song just needs a little something extra to make it shine. So when the band are after fresh ideas or simply want to record an instrument they can't play, they call in the go-to boys of pop music, the session musicians. And that's exactly what the Bluebells did. The result was a violin part that brought the song to life. The man they hired was session musician Bobby Valentino. The violin, did that take a long time to write? I was out within half an hour. The producer asked me to fill in the holes with something jiggy. And I thought, well, I don't know what to do. Um, but you get a country lit that goes... So I just did it backwards. It's not quite right, otherwise. And I thought, I'll do it again. Then, OK, let's get the idea going. They just let me do what I thought was right for it. I mean, I... I been in a band ten years by then, and I just thought that's what the song needed. And I came up with that sort of melodic-y hook line. And after this song became a hit, I take it you now drive in a huge Rolls Royce. <laughs> no, 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 the Morris Minor just across the road. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what's the payment like on that sort of stuff then? And then I got £75 for that. How does that make you feel then, that, you know, you are part of this huge selling record that's been around for years? Well, but, but I've, I've got writing credits now. Right. But we'd have to go to court for that. The solo, how did that come about? I've done a conventional sort of country solo. And the producer said to me, Nah, that's pretty standard. Do something that somebody's going to put the record on again to hear. So I said, OK, how about something like what Eddie Van Halen does? Bobby's 30 minutes in the studio made all the difference. The distinctive violin part went against the grain, and the song reached number eight in the charts. So did you expect it to be a hit then? When after I'd finished it, I didn't think I'd ever hear it again. Because there's so many jobs you do that you never hear again. You know, and it was completely out of fashion at the time. So I take it, after it was a hit, your phone didn't stop ringing? There wasn't many phone calls once after you're on a hit. The phone stops ringing. Why is that? Why is that? I think people think you're going to be expensive. <laughs> I'd like to be expensive, but it doesn't work that way. In 1993, the song reappeared. I suddenly heard it on a TV ad, and then I got a call from the Bluebells saying, "Well, I come and do Top of the Pops because it was a huge song that year, wasn't it? I mean, you just couldn't get away from it that summer." This time, the song was an even bigger hit, staying at the number one spot for four weeks and selling 600,000 copies. The violin may have been an unusual instrument for a pop song at the time, but the distinctive sounds that Bobby created helped Young at Heart take its place in the annals of pop history. Timothy, you look like the man who likes a bit of catchy fiddle. Oh, I like a catchy fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't catch me fiddling, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean in the yeah, monetary We know sense. what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Not that there, for goodness going. sake, Fine. cheap Fine. audience. Fine. <laughs> 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 I'll take the free, I tell you. No. <laughs> I know, Mrs. Don't hear. Don't hear. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>